Coming up tonight on the Rowan Rundown, get a recap of the Beaver Match event, find out what changes are being made to the SGA Executive Board, and get a full look at this week's upcoming weather. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Remember that to love America is to love all Americans, because love has no labels. Welcome to the Rowan Rundown. I'm Jennifer Spencer. And I'm Neri Rodriguez. Last week, the Rowan University football team enrolled 170 people into the National Marrow Donor Program as part of its ninth annual Get in the Game, Save a Life, Be the Match event. The volunteers joined the National Registry in hope of trying to save someone's life. Over 2,800 people have joined since the program since 2009. Thousands of people are diagnosed each year with a life-threatening blood cancers like leukemia and lymphoma. And programs like this can help bring more people closer to the cure. In the final Student Government Association meeting of the year, a change to Article 3 of the organization's constitution is approved. The change was to have the GPA requirement for running to serve on the executive board for SGA lowered from 2.75 to 2.5. Positions such as president, vice president, chief financial officer, and student trustee required a 2.75 GPA, but now all positions will have the same standard. The change was made after noticing that many people were at a disadvantage when wanting to run for a position. Now, even more people with great leadership skills have a chance to get involved. Looking for an internship this summer? The Rowan Virtual Reality Center is seeking interns to participate in a summer internship program beginning in June. Using programs like Unity and Maya, interns will create games as their final project, and the only requirements to be a part of this internship is to be a Rowan University student. The Virtual Reality Center is also available to rent for those who want to showcase their work. Come out and join the celebration of the career of Dr. Paston. Dean of the College of Performing Arts this Friday, April 28th from 2.15 to 4.15 in Wilson Hall, room 153. Dr. Paston is a 30-year-old veteran of the U.S. Navy's music program, ranked as Lieutenant Commander, and performs with the Navy's show band and the Navy Band at Pearl Harbor. Dr. Paston served as professor, director of bands, chair department of music, and as the Dean of the College of Performing Arts since 2012. He is a big part of our Rowan's family, so stop on by and wish him well as he goes on to the next chapter of his life. Rowan, Rowan is hosting a Special Olympics track and field event this Saturday. Volunteers willing and able to give their time for a great cause are wanted. Volunteers are expected to report from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you're interested in volunteering or have any questions, contact Matthew Hurd through this email, hurd at rowan.edu or by phone at 856 Two five six four six seven six. Rowan Pre-Health Society is holding their second annual Make-A-Wish Foundation Banquet on Sunday, April 30th at 6 p.m. in the Enon Ballroom. Tickets can be purchased in advance at the Chamberlain Student Center Information Desk via cash, credit, or Rowan Bucks. Tickets are $10 per person. Each ticket includes a buffet-style dinner and dessert, as well as four complimentary chances to win door prizes. Now, here's Michelle Campbell with sports. Thanks, Jennifer. The Rowan Golf 
Softball team won their first game 11-2 against Rutgers Newark in doubleheader action. The second is underway right now. They sit number six in the country and second in the NCAA East Region rankings. Men and women's track and field is in Philadelphia for this weekend for the Penn Relays. The men's team is ranked number one in the country and is coming off of a first place finish at the Morgan State Legacy Meet. The women's team is looking to bounce back from a 12th place finish at the same meet. Listen for the name Corey Clement during this weekend's NFL Draft. Clement played football at Glassboro High School before playing at the University of Wisconsin from 2013 to 2016. The running back is expected to be picked in the later rounds of the draft. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Michelle. Coming up on the Rowan Rundown, Pike will be holding their annual Dream Girl competition to find out everything you need to know about this fun event. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Open up your books to page 360. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Talking about inspirational quotes. You gotta believe in yourself. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Now here's Elisa Harris with the upcoming events for this week. Thank you, Jennifer. Seniors, are you ready to walk across the stage and receive your degree? Of course you are, but before you receive your degrees, come out and join Class of 2017 at their Senior Send-Off Celebration on May 5th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Events will start at Chamberlain Student Center patio with music, photo booths, appetizers, cash bar, and a champagne toast, and the best part is the event is free. But seniors aren't the only ones who have a celebration. Come out to the Biology Club's end of the year celebration tonight at 6 in the Science Hall from, in room 324. There will be a movie playing and free Chick-fil-A. And anyone is welcome. Tomorrow, come out and help raise money for the Pi Kappa Alpha annual Dream Girl competition at 9 p.m. in the Chamberlain Student Center. The event is to help raise money for local families with cancer through their Light and Hope Family Grant Program, which offers one-time grant to pay essential household bills for families with cancer. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you. Now let's hand it over to Dino Aron Tulis with a special report about Rowan's Christian organization, Chi Alpha. Thanks guys, and welcome to the special report. I'm Dino Aron Tulis, and today I have Zach Schwent from, uh, uh, from Chi Alpha. Uh, thank you for being here today, Zach. Oh yeah, of course, Dino. So uh, if, if, if you could tell me, you know, uh, 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 what is Chi Alpha and, you know, what do you guys try to do on campus? Yeah, um, so Chi Alpha is a Christian fellowship here on campus. Uh, we meet in the uh, Mount Olive Church, which is right behind Whitney. And uh, basically, we're kind of a Christian organization just trying to spread God's word and uh, through just a fun environment. And, yeah, that's basically who we are. Okay. So... Uh, uh, how are you part of the organization? Do you have like a leadership uh, position? Uh, yeah, so I serve in Chi Alpha in many ways. Um, one, I play on the worship team every week. Uh, we have Thursday night meetings at 8, and so I play piano for them. Uh, I'm a small group leader, which is basically a small Bible study throughout the week. Um, I'm a part of the e-board, so I help make some of the decisions uh, with what we do with Chi Alpha. I help come up with some of the activities. Like, for instance, uh, we had laser tag the other day. We like to set up events such as, like, capture the flag. Um, just a lot of cool things on campus. Okay, so do you guys have any uh, e events coming up in the last week of uh, school? Uh, well, the last week of school, things are kind of winding down. Uh, we have our last meeting uh, tonight on Thursday um, at 8, and uh, we have our end-of-the-year picnic um, this Saturday. And so that should be a lot of fun. But uh, we have a lot planned for next year and stuff. So. Okay. So... Um, uh, 
there's 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 always the stigma that you know a, a, a lot of college students they aren't as re, they they aren't as religious as as, uh, as uh, other uh, uh, people. Uh, um, so, uh, 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 is there anything that Chi Alpha does to try to uh, re, uh, to try to uh, recruit you know uh, uh, students to uh, to uh, be part of your organization? Um, yeah, sure. So I know like uh, college is a time where people are trying to find themselves. And that's actually uh, kind of what so draws some people into Chi Alpha. Um, so just the fact that if you look at somebody from Chi Alpha, there's something different about them. You know, they're they're happier. They're uh, I don't know. And so some people like to try to figure out what that is, and that's just because kind of we have like Jesus Christ in our lives, and so we help uh, spread that that news and um, just I don't know in fun ways. Okay. So uh, if anybody will want to. Uh, uh, in, in, you know, get uh, I'll get registered for next uh, semester. Uh, but how would they be able to do that? Um, well, we have a uh, website. It's called Ruxa.org. It's uh, I'm actually wearing a shirt. It's R U X A. Stands for uh, Rowan University Chi Alpha. And uh, you can get involved there. We have definitely uh, all our events going on. We have Thursday night meetings every week at 8 uh, p.m. at the church behind Whitney. Uh, we have events kind of all throughout the week, so, uh, some small groups, and just, uh, yeah, a lot of different other things on campus. Okay, so uh, uh, if, if, if you can kind of go into more detail about, you know, what, uh, you know, like, oh, oh, what is a small group and, like, how often do you guys meet with that? Sure. Um, so small groups are a thing that uh, we tend to meet on weeknights maybe uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. We avoid Thursday because that's our big meeting, and I can explain that too. But um, so small groups tend to be a, a time where a group of guys or a group of girls can get together and just kind of dive into the word, uh, talk about their week, and just kind of fellowship with each other. Okay. Well, uh, Zach, uh, thank you for being here today. And, uh, and also, uh, uh, well, sorry. <laughs> well, uh, uh, thanks for being here today. And that's all for your special report. I'm Dino Allen Tulis. Now here's Ellen Unger to give us her opinion on parking. Thanks, Neri. So we all know parking is a huge issue here at Rowan. That's nothing new. So when the lots fill up, you're forced to find a side street to park on and hope you don't need a pass to park there. Well, I live on one of those side streets, and I need a pass to park in front of my own house, or else Glassboro Police starts handing out tickets. One night, a couple weeks ago, I got home late and parked in front of my house since the driveway was full and forgot to slide a pass into my car. The next morning, I was greeted with a ticket on my car and a court date. A court date. I parked in front of my own house. There needs to be a better system because this is ridiculous. But hey, that's just my opinion. Back to you guys. Now here's Bob and Alyssa to discuss finals week and more. Welcome to the Rowan Roundtable. I'm Bob Duncan. And I'm Alyssa Kampla. <laughs> so Alyssa, school year's starting to wind down. Biggest thing on people's mind, especially when they're coming in, getting involved. Yes, so whether you're new to school or you're about to go into your next year, I think it's always important to stress, like especially in these summer months, like get involved with organizations on school, mainly because I think you get a lot of experience in those clubs. Like if you join like the radio station or the TV network, I feel like you get more experience from those than you would from any of your classes. Even, even another point, jobs on campus as well. Summer months are always looking to start the hiring process. Always good to get a job start now because if you're just going to classes, you're maybe what, seeing 1% of the whole entire school population exactly. jumping into like a club, going, doing a job on campus. You get to see the whole entire demographic and that creates a whole new college experience for everybody. Right, definitely. And you make some long-term friends through those organizations more than you would if you were just sitting in class with them. So I think it's always important, freshmen or transfer or anybody, just get involved in any organization. All right. So for that one, and next subject, finals will be coming yeah. up. That's going to be a big, scary time for everybody. Oh, boy. I actually took a final today. My teacher gave us a final a week ahead of time, and it was still, like, I hate finals week. I preferred when they're just like, you're final is just like a big project don't turn in like don't come in for a test so tests stress me out but i think the campus does some cool things to kind of ease that stress you know always good yeah library always has some cool stuff going on whether it's the yoga or the relaxation stuff and also the furry friends yes when you can go pet a dog or a cat because they apparently help a lot with your stress 
so I'm happy that those are going to be coming back for finals week. <laughs> I mean, even if you're not having that stress with finals, I mean, going in just seeing a whole bunch of cute dogs and pup, everybody, cute puppies and cats. Like. Everybody has a stressful finals week, <laughs> just saying. Very true. And with all of that, preparation after schooling, how well has it prepared you? Yeah, um, this was an interesting topic to me because I think... I think Rowan definitely did prepare me in some aspects for when I do graduate, which is in like a week. So I think I have the skills I need to actually go into the real world as far as like job is concerned. The real world stuff like bills and stuff, I don't, they never really teach me that, but you're going to learn that anyway. So. <laughs> Well, that's the stuff I don't think they teach you everywhere. Even in high school, you're always just like, well, now I'm out. Now I got to go get an apartment. I got to start doing all the taxes and stuff. And you're like, well, I'm, I'm yeah. lost. Yeah I'm, so. yeah, I'm good when it comes to the stuff I went to school for. But all that other stuff, like, you know, when to call your heater or electric guy or something, I don't know any of that. So <laughs> they could have did a class about that. All right. Well, that's all the time that we have here for the Rowan Roundtable. Now back to you guys at the desk. And now here's Mavish Khan to tell us about a great event happening tomorrow on campus. Hey guys. How's it going, How Mavish? You? I'm great. So uh, tell us about your event. What is Holly Bash? Alrighty, so Holly Bash is an event that happens, it's the second year that it's happening, so hopefully it'll become like an annual thing. It's getting some good buzz, and it's run by the Office of Student Activities, and it's kind of like a festival. Cool, so uh, where and when is this? So it is tomorrow, it's from one to nine, and it's on the um, Hollybush Mansion Green. It's close to where Evergreen is in Buns Hall. It's like right in front, facing the Student Center. And what's gonna be going on there? So there's usually a big headlining act. We have Mike Posner coming, which is really exciting. Um, there's gonna be some other round performers. The winner of Battle of the Bands will be there also, which is exciting. Um, lots of games and rides, and there will be a food truck. So the first 2,000 people get a food voucher, and everyone after that can pay with cash. Okay, so how can we get in? So you can get in. It's from one to nine. Have your row and ID. You can get in. You're good. You can enjoy everything. Okay. Yeah. Wow, thank you. Thank no you. problem. Thank you. Coming up on the Rowan Rundown, the philosophy department gets ready to hold their annual ethics conference. Learn about all this after this. Listen, I realize that I'm not perfect, but it all really started to change because you judge me for having a problem. No one is going to know that I need help. I need help. I know that no one is going to judge me for having a problem. I realize that I'm not perfect, but it all really started to change because you listen. The Philosophy and Religion Studies Department, along with the Philosophy Club and Honor Society, have announced the date for their annual ethics conference. The event is set to take place tomorrow in the Enon Ballroom in the Student Center at 9.30 a.m. Those who attend will get to hear research presentations from students on issues ranging from media ethics, medical ethics, race, gender, and poverty. And now here's David Kincaid to tell us what to expect for our weekend weather forecast. Good evening, I'm Dave Tsunami Kincaid. If there's a big wave, I'll be the first to tell you tonight there is a high chance of thunderstorms, so stay indoors with a high temperature of 64 degrees. Let's go over to the five-day forecast. Tomorrow, Friday, it'll be a high of 82 and a low of 63 and partly cloudy, so it's better to go outside tomorrow than tonight. Tomorrow, or the next day, is Saturday, and it'll be a high of 88 and a low of 63, mostly cloudy. And Sunday, it'll be a high of 69 and a low of 56, mostly cloudy as well, but a big drop in the temperature. On Monday, it'll be a high of 82. The temperatures will go back up. 
and a low of 63, partly cloudy. And on Tuesday, it'll drop just a little bit to a high of 74 and a low of 53, partly cloudy as well. Overall, a great weather week. Let's go over to our weather window. So this is a shot of our beautiful Route 322. The traffic's bad, but the weather's beautiful today. If you want to go outside with your friends, this is the perfect day to go for a beautiful walk or a run. The Broad Street Run's coming up next week, so get out there and train. Here we see that beautiful brand new hotel that they just put up. And you know, this hotel that isn't here right now um, is definitely looking stunning today in a beautiful sunny day. But you know what? It is, that is our weather for today. So, hey guys, I hey. mean, it's a beautiful weekend. It's going to get up to 88 and then drop just a little bit down to 75. But, you know, we're going to have some beautiful weather. How do you plan on spending your weekend? Uh, I know I'm definitely going to have to keep uh, cool because already looking at this weather, I'm already sweating. You know, this sweater is making me really it sweat right now. It was hot today. It felt like summer. Next weekend, get ready for a Philadelphia Broad Street Run 10-mile race. That's all I got for the weather today. Thank you, guys. Thanks. And Thanks. thank you, Professor Kelly, for a beautiful show. This has been a beautiful experience. That's it for the Rowan Rundown. I'm Jennifer Spencer. And for the last time, I'm Neri Rodriguez.